Hello stamping friends, welcome back to the July 2015 online card class. This is our sixth card in the series. You get to do six different cards using the same stamp set. This one is a really fun fold and you're going to remember to stamp inside the card as pictured on your instruction sheet, okay? Um, I forgot to do that on one of the videos, so um, I wanted to just point that out. Okay, so here's the card and this is what it will look like finished. Okay, and you can always layer something else in there, but this is really pretty because it's all white. It's got a white border. So the stamp set that we're using, of course, is the watercolor wings and the matching uh, framelit, which is the bold butterfly. These are the things that you will need to put this card together. A piece of vellum cardstock, a piece of Whisper White that I have run through the um, decorative dots folder, a piece of tip top taupe that's already cut, your card base and your envelope. Okay, so that's what you get in the kit when you do the online classes with us. All right, so in playing with this fold, I wanted to show you the boo-boo I did. It's a little cockeyed. Okay, can you see that? It is not squared off. I'm not so sure if it's a bad mistake, but it is one that I couldn't fix. Okay, so um, I want to show you how not to do that. First of all, I'll just show you what I did. I started cutting at the wrong end instead of the other way, okay? So that's why I ended up that way and I was like, oh, it's on the bottom, now what do I do? So I flipped it over, closed it, and did it the right way. <laughs> anyway, just wanted, I love to show you my boo-boos because if I can do it, you might do it and I wanna point out to you, measure twice, cut once. You've heard that before. All right, I'm using the de delightful Dijon to show you in hopes that you can see it better on the video. I don't know if that helps or not, but um, what you get in your kit will be the Whisper White card base, okay? All right, so I'm taking this to the Stampin' Up! trimmer and I have it lined up. First of all, I have scored it at the four and a quarter and your card stock will be scored when you get it because that's how it comes in the kit. And I have lined it up at the three inch mark. Don't worry about writing this down. It'll all be in your instructions. And so then I am using the gray cutter. The lighter gray is the scoring blade. I don't need that, so I've got it parked out of my way. I'm going to line this up at two and a half. And I'm going to push down and I'm going to score at four and seven eighths. Okay. Then I'm going to take it out turn my cardstock, measure it, put it back at the three, come back, whoops, don't cut in the wrong place, line it back up, and it's actually lining up at the three inch mark, all right? So then I'm going to pull it towards me until I get to five eighths. Whoops, six, five, there we go. All right, so let me get this out of the way. Okay, so the way you do this card is that you push the bottom until it starts to flip, and then you kind of get it, see how it's squared off, see how much nicer it is. I knew immediately when I did it the other way that I did it wrong. So I'm gonna take my bone folder, and I'm just gonna give that a score. And now my card base is ready to go, okay? So let's take it to our white one, let's do it again. Push, push there, flip it, line it up, crease, there. You've seen me do it two times, okay? So the other thing I wanna do is I want to stick this down. So I'm going to take my snail. I mean, it is a flip corner card, but I don't necessarily want it to be flipping all the time. You could. Um, if you saw my commercial for this video, I did leave it flipping, but it, it's really supposed to go down. Okay, so now that's ready. I've already stamped on the inside so that um, for the sake of the video, since I wanted to show you how to do the fold. And I've already stamped my butterflies, as I mentioned in the first video. I like to do that ahead of time. And I, so all I need now is to start putting my card together. I'm going to use some snail for the tip top taupe layer. 
And that should, if I measured correctly, line up perfectly. So there's my layer. And then we love to use our liquid glue. Okay. Just a little thin line everywhere. And then we'll lay that down. Okay. I've already stamped my butterfly and the body. And I want to use my dimensionals, of course. I like to put two on the body because it is a big body. It's a big butterfly. We don't want him flying away. Okay. And if you want, you could you could fold his wings up. Your instructions don't say that, so we're just going to leave it like it is. They just all seem to want to fly, I'll tell you. All right, so then I've already cut out the smaller butterfly using the uh, vellum. And I need to use a glue dot to hold it on because you can see through the vellum. I don't want anybody to see um, like a dimensional or something. So I'm just going to take and put this right there on the body. Whoops, maybe. Huh, doesn't want to let go of my scissors. Let's try that again. Do this, hold it down, take the butterfly, put it on top, pull out the snips. All right, so that part is done. So now we want to stamp a little moments. Let me get my stamp pad. Again, using the new in color tip top taupe. Love this color. And I like to stamp on my paper to see if my stamp really is lined up before I stamp it on my card. This is the final thing I'm doing and I don't want it to be crooked. All right, so there you have that. Now, the thing that I wanna show you is how I stamped the butterfly um, as far as my colors go, okay? I used the Delightful Dijon and the Watermelon Wonder. Okay, let me clean up just a tad. And we're gonna put that stamp in there, this stamp in here. Grab a piece of Whisper White. Okay, so in the first video I showed y'all how to stamp off when you're stamping your butterflies. Um, on this one, I did not stamp off. Just stamp straight down. Make sure you press nice and good, like we've talked about. And then peel that off. I don't know, I think it works better that way. And then I could use my stamp -a majig but this stamp I didn't have as much trouble with as far as lining it up. But something I do wanna point out, can you see on the video how much ink I have in the bottom part of the body and the top of the body? So I'm just gonna clean off my block just a little bit so I don't get so messy. But I'm also taking a tissue and I'm just going to wipe that off. This one didn't show it as much on my cards as far as, I call it trash when the ink is in the wrong place. But on the other one that's kind of a layer, it does. Okay, all right, so I've done that. And now I just wanna line this up. I bet you can see my hair in the video, I'm sorry. Just have to get on top of it. And there you have it. Okay, so that's how I stamped the, the colors that I used and how I stamped this one. And then of course, after I cut it out, then I will stamp the body. All right, thanks for stopping by and we will see you next month. Hey everyone, I'm back again. I wanted to show you something really quick. What if you don't have the Stampin' Up! paper trimmer? Well, you might want to add that to your list for later. Um, but let me give you another idea of what to do with this because it is fun to have this type of a card. So it's your card base that you got in your kit. Just take and fold back that corner. Use your bone folder to give it a good crease. Then take your layers that came in your kit 
and just stick them on like this. Okay, so then what your card would look like opened would be that, which is still fun, it's different, okay? So I just wanna give you that little tip if you don't have a Stampin' Up! trimmer and you can't cut it the way I showed you at the beginning of the video. Thanks for watching.